Hello, my name is Tico Kuiper. I'm one of the research fellows at the Academic Medical Center in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And I've been invited to make this video abstract on our article which is published in this month's Gastroenterology and is entitled Endoscopic Trimodal Imaging Detects Colonic Neoplasia as well as Standard Video Endoscopy. As most of you are aware, adenomas are still frequently being missed during colonoscopy and a meta-analysis has shown an adenoma miss rate of up to 30% and there's a need for this miss rate to be reduced. Furthermore, once lesions are detected during colonoscopy, it is important that they are accurately differentiated in order to decide whether they can be left in situ or whether they should be removed. Now, a number of new endoscopic techniques have been developed and one of these is called endoscopic trimodal imaging which was developed by Olympus and consists of three imaging modalities and these are high resolution endoscopy, autofluorescent imaging and narrowband imaging. Now um, previous studies that have assessed new endoscopic techniques have nearly all been performed in academic settings and because we wanted to assess the clinical value of endoscopic um, trimodal imaging in comparison with standard video endoscopy, we performed our study in non-academic centers. And in our study, eight colonoscopists participated and 234 patients were randomized for each of the two arms. In the first arm, patients underwent a tandem colonoscopy, so that is two, colonosco two colonoscopies during the same setting, um, and both with standard video endoscopy. And in the other arm, patients also went a tandem colonoscopy. The first colonoscopy was done with high resolution endoscopy and the second one was done with autofluorescent imaging. And these are the results with regards to adenoma detection in both groups. During the first session, 79 adenomas were found in the standard group and 87 in the ADME group. And during the second session, another 33 adenomas were found in the standard group and 34 in the ADME group resulting in an adenoma miss rate of 29.5% in the standard group and 28.1% in the ADME group. But there were no significant differences between the two groups. Now, all detected lesions in the ADME group were also differentiated with narrowband imaging and autofluorescent imaging. And during narrowband imaging, lesions were differentiated with the kudo pit pattern classification in which a kudo pit pattern 1 or 2, as you can see here on the left, are considered non-neoplastic, whereas kudo 3 or higher are considered neoplastic, as you can see here on the right. And during autofluorescent imaging, lesions were differentiated based on their color, in which um, lesions depicted as green, as you can see here on the left, are considered non-neoplastic, whereas um, lesions depicted light purple or purple, as you can see here on the right, are considered neoplastic. And this slide slow shows the sensitivity, the specificity and the accuracy of both these modalities. So the sensitivity of NBI was 87 with a specificity of 63 and an accuracy of 75. And um, for uh, autofluorescent imaging, sensitivity was 90%, specificity 37%, and the accuracy was 63%. Now, before new imaging modalities become widely available, they need to be assessed in a non-academic setting also. And because we performed our study in a non-academic setting amongst non-expert endoscopists, we believe our results reflect um, regular clinical practice. And our results have shown that endoscopic trimodal imaging does not increase adenoma detection rate in comparison with standard video endoscopy. And also that autofluorescent imaging does not seem to have an additional value with regards to the adenoma detection rate on top of high resolution endoscopy. And another important finding of our study was the substantial adenoma miss rate that we found in both arms which was nearly 30% in the standard video endoscopy arm and 28% in the endoscopic trimodal imaging arm. Now, previous studies have found somewhat lower adenoma miss rates, but again, most previous studies have been performed in an academic setting. So possibly um, relatively high adenoma miss rates might reflect regular clinical practice. Um, so in conclusion, we can say 
endoscopic trial model imaging does not improve adenoma detection rate in comparison with standard video endoscopy in a non-academic setting and also that autofluorescent imaging does not seem to have an additional value on top of high resolution endoscopy again in a non-academic setting. With regards to the differentiation of the colorectal lesion we found a high sensitivity for both narrowband imaging as well as autofluorescent imaging but a somewhat low specificity. Um, with regards to future research on new endoscopic imaging techniques we believe that these um, should be performed not only in an academic setting but also in non-academic centers in order to assess their regular clinical value. Lastly, I would like to thank all the participating endoscopists and all the research nurses. Thank you.